Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13-box summer fever. I got a fever. Baseball mixer, random team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There is one extra box that needs to be on this list that's pictured. It's that Bowman Chrome. So just FYI, it's a 14-box break, actually, not a 13-box. Let's adjust that right there. All right, now... Thanks to Rolando, who got last spot mojo here, but we need to add 10 more people here, and that's from the team random. So we sold 25 spots. We randomized just your names. The top 10 right here um, will win a spot in the mixer. The rest of you will get a pack of a sealed pack of 2019 Top Series 2 uh, baseball, a silver pack, which includes autos and short prints and all sorts of fun stuff, so you can still get something big out of there. Big thanks to all of these folks who are giving that a shot. Chance for you to get into the mixer for a fraction of the price. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list six times. One out of five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And final time after six times. There you go. So all of you will get those silver packs. And the top ten right here, Danilo, Jeremy, Andy, James, Chris, Ryan, Richard, Jay, David, Joe, and Paul, congrats to you. You are in the mixer. All right, so all of you, the 10 people here, are shifted there. We'll put little symbols next to your name. Just so you know you got that in a random. So congrats to the 10 of you here. And for those of you here, we'll send you that pack sealed. And uh, let me know if you get anything cool out of there. Arthur. For example, you never know. Wait until you get that pack. If you get a huge auto out of there, that'll make up. That'll make up for everything for not getting into the mixer. All right, now let's take this complete list here and put them into this blank list right here. With the whole list of teams right here, all thirty teams are in, and that'll be a different dice roll as well. All right, now I can clear the names out of here. Let's roll the dice for your names and the teams. Let's match you up with the team now. After four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, we've got Jeremy Anderson down to Chris Miller. Four and a one, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four. Four and a one. Fifth and final time. Good luck, everybody. After five times, we've got the Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo, on top, and the Friars, the Padres, on the bottom. All right. Jeremy Anderson, Giants, Danilo, you have the Marlins, Andy Owens with the Blue Jays, Levi with the Angels, Joe with the Diamondbacks, Rolando, Last Spot Mojo, Orioles. Danilo with the Rays, David Duffy with the Cardinals, David Aguilar with the Twins, Juan, you got the Braves, Joe with the Pirates, Kip, Kip, Hooray with the Rockies, Thomas with the Tigers, Chris Fries with the Reds, Ryan Redman with the Cubs, Joe with the Nationals, Rick with the Mets, Chris with the Phillies, Trey, you have the White Sox, James with the Brew Crew, Paul with the Red Sox, Rick K with the Mariners, David Bruins, you got my Dodgers, Danny with the Indians, Levi with the Rangers, TJ, you got the A's, James Connell with the Astros, Joe Fisher with the Yankees, Richard Johansson with the Royals, and Chris Miller with the Padres. The A's up for trade, by the way. TJ has the A's up for trade if anyone's interested. Let's order those alphabetically by team. And just as a reminder, these are the years involved. Looks like one box of 2016, one box of 17. I think there's a couple, bo three boxes or more of 18. And then some 2019 boxes as well. 
So just to give you an idea of the boxes in this break. A couple inceptions back there, a couple museums, some finest. We'll do this autograph baseball last. Some prism baseball back there. I think we're going to do the heavier base card ones first, and then we'll we'll kind of work our way around to to and finish off with the higher end stuff right here. It's got some five star in here too. Thanks, David Bruins. This is uh, last year's Fourth of July hats that they released. I kind of like do I do we like the ones with the this year it's they've got a red bill and a red button on top. Do we like that? I kind of like that, I guess. I maybe the contrast is nice. Are they just trying to get me to buy another hat? They are All right, so we've got oh we've got a lot of trade offers. A's up for trade, Baltimore up for trade, Indians up for trade, Royals up for trade, A's Marlins maybe is an offer, A's O's is an offer, Reds up for trade, Twins for Indians maybe, Reds for Padres, Reds for Nationals, Indians for Rays, A's for O's. Ryan, if the twelve box football mixer fills, are you breaking it tonight or waiting till tomorrow for that? Um no no need to wait. Why would we wait? If it fills tonight, we'll break it tonight. And we're not on tomorrow, by the way. So I guess it better fill tonight if you want it to break tonight. All right, looks like no trades. A lot of trade offers, but I don't see a lot of trades. So, I think it's just time to go, maybe? TWC, trade window closed. We tried. Oh, wait, you'll take O's for A's? I'll do O's A's if you want. O's A's deal? All right, good. I haven't even printed this out yet. O's for A's confirmed. YouTube changed some sort of formula where I can't where I can't easily do the shortcuts for emojis, which is annoying, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll live. All right, so TJ is out of the A's spot, and Rolando Lewis is out of the Orioles spot. TJ is now in the O's spot. We'll put a T next to there for trade, and Rolando Lewis in the A's spot right here. All right, trade window closed again, officially, this time. For reals, this time.
All right, so here is the final printout right there. The Jaspi's 14 Vox Summer Fever Baseball Mixer. Thank you and good luck, everybody. Put T there. We'll, we'll, see, uh, we'll see who draws first blood in that trade. Maybe see who wins out in the end. All right, let's um, we'll kind of kind of jump around on the years a little bit. Let's knock out this uh, series two first. Jacob, you'd be you'd be surprised at how many good reds there are. Can end up with Hunter Green, Nick Senzel, a lot of young prospects coming up the ranks there that you can get. Yeah, Joey Votto's always a possibility. Old school guys, Johnny Bench, Barry Larkin, Ken Griffey Jr. as a red. Ken Griffey Sr. Let me stack these on top of each other right here. So yeah, so there's a lot, actually. Reds have, reds have sneaky good value. Good luck, boys and girls. This break will take a minute or two. So kick back and relax. So we'll kind of breeze through these. And we'll obviously stop at this. Rookie Auto, Patrick Wisdom. Legacy of Baseball autograph for the Rangers. That's going to go to Levi. Ten out of one fifty on that. We'll slide that there. Some of these old mid-80s design cards could be autographed too, which I'm just what we'll look out for as well. So as you may have assumed, veteran commons won't ship, but everything else will. And those like 1984 design cards are, are considered inserts, so all of those will ship too. That's 7 out of 10, Miles Straw. That's pretty cool. That goes to the Astros. That'll be for James Connell with the Strohs. Actually, I need some more regular top loaders. Uh, yes, Jeff Mears. Gianni is right. 
I'm here till around 11 o'clock Pacific. So, if that Summer League basketball mixer fills, we will do it. If there's enough time. I don't think that break should take very long. Let me take a quick look at that. It's a seven box mixer with... Oh yeah, that should be pretty quick. That's like a 20, 30 minute break right there. So um, if it, uh, we can fill, we can wait all the way up until, uh, we can wait all the way up until 10.30 Pacific tonight to fill that up. And then we can knock it out then. And we've got a nice relic right there. J.D. Martinez, significant statistics. And that will be for the Bow Sox. That's for Paul Hutchins at a 99. We've got things to do, Gianni. Let's let's get it filled earlier then. It's a facsimile autograph right there. Well, Johnny did his part, folks. Get that basketball mixer done earlier if you want to. The medallion is Aaron Judge. Nice one for the Yankees. That's going to go to Joe Fisher. There you go. Jeff Mears just helped you out. Yeah, I, I do too. I mean, these are out of 150, but I always think these, these logos are always pretty cool. I don't mind them at all. Got Jake Marisnik, 2019. Yeah, it is a good display piece for sure. You're packing that car for eBay right now, says John Samuelson. What did it go for? I'm curious. I say Aaron Judge. I say ten dollars.
Right, and yeah, exactly, Jeff. Only four spots of the ba a basketball mixer, but Trey's right. We have to we have to fill that spot random too, right next to the right next to the basketball mixer. There's another little thing right there. We got to fill that up too. Chance to get a basketball mixer spot for a fraction of the price. Oh, it went for seventeen. Oh, it's higher than I thought. Higher than the ten that I thought it would go for. That's pretty good. For an out of 150. That like covers a third of the, I feel like that covers like a third or a quarter of the mixer spot already. And we're only one box in. So there you go, Joe Fisher. Oh, that's... Out of 50, Jacoby Ellsbury for the Yankees. Are there, is there only one auto in this? Hop on the Nick Cannon. Hop on the Nick Cannon, I'll open some packs. Oh, it's one autograph, two relics. Oh, pop on the Nick Cam? Are you... Is it on? Yeah, there you go. Nick Cam. Right above my head, Nick Cam. Nick will help out. All right, so if you look on the camera above there, that's Nick Jaspi's hands. He's going to maybe take care of some prism, and he's going to slide that over this way right here. Why don't we do some gold label really quick? Looks like, oh, yeah, we can do score updates too. Braves are up 3 nothing. says Dennis Moore. Josh Donaldson, three-run home run in the bottom of the fourth. Who, do, who am I on today? I've got some financial interest in the Pirates today. They're only down by two. I'm sure uh, in the fourth inning, I'm sure you, Darvish, will melt down soon. I'm on Toronto. They're tied 3-3 with Chris Sale's Boston Red Sox. I'm on Milwaukee tonight, down one, still early. I'm on the Rangers tonight, scoreless. I'm on the Royals tonight. They just started bottom of the first. I'm on the Giants tonight. That's a late game. And I'm on Seattle tonight. That's also a late game. All right. So I'm still in the mix. Still in the mix with everything. Yesterday, biggest log of all time. I didn't want to talk about it like that, but I, I thought definitely thought. And they were plus money. I know. I didn't. I didn't take it. But Rangers were like minus one fifty. And yeah, I don't like to say it like that either. But but were. in my head, I was just like. If I liked that play, I would have put the house on it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Guys, get, I mean, remember what happened? D. Gordon had a leadoff home run after Jose Fernandez passed away. You know what I mean? So, especially mid during the season. Oh, and you hear about Tommy Lastella too? Yeah, he got hurt. Out eight to ten weeks with a tibia fracture. Poor Angels. I know, he and he just, was having a fantastic... He he's an all-star. All yeah. yeah. He was having a fantastic season, too. So Angels just can't catch a break, folks. Out of 75, Roberto Clemente. Was Roberto Clemente... Did he pass away? No, this is he was in the off-season, right? I think that was the off because he was doing, like, charity. Right, that's right, that's right. He I think was, he was going to, like, feed kids and... I think there was like a hurricane or something. He was, yeah. Sad week, folks. All right, so gold label one one frame per box. And the gold frame auto is Ryan Healy. Rookie auto for the A's. So it looks like Rolando Lewis strikes first blood in the trade with that rookie Ryan Healy autograph. Why is Chris Archer so bad? I don't know. This trade is terrible. Yeah, do you think about how bad that trade was? They sent Austin Meadows well, see, and uh, Tyler year, Glass so now. Why did they do it? I don't know why. They weren't like in the hunt last year, really, were they? No, I think they were just trying to shed contract part. or something like that. Here's Prison Baseball yeah, right Chris here. Chris Archer doesn't even have a bigger contract. No, Chris Archer has a really good contract. Oh. So that's why they gave up so much because he's like team controlled for like, for like $10 million a year or something ridiculous like that. 
And if he had a decent season, he would he would be like a twenty million dollar player easily. But he's not having a good season, so. There's Jackie Bradley Jr. There's Nick that never happens JK. in basketball or football. Like someone goes to like you're like a top ten, and you just like go somewhere else, and it's like, like oh, the city's weird, and yeah, and like no injury or anything. Yeah. Uh, ballpark effects the team that you're on, the way the coaching is. Who knows? There's rookie Otto Johnson Lewisaga for the Yankees. Joe Fisher. I don't know. That like pitch, pitching that ne has never happened. Before. Pitching coach could be weird. And Maybe it's not he's, age really because he's not. He's not old. Yeah, he's, he's like super young. Prime, so that's weird. He should, he should be actually in his prime. Yeah, he should be getting better. Because there's so many games. I think. Traveling. I don't know. He's a. He's a, pretty much a veteran, though. It's not like. Yeah. He's a he's a baseball dude too. You know, you hear him talk about baseball. He loves the game. He knows the game. Something's just not clicking. There's Yadi to 150. Johan Camargo to 399. Is there a? I'm sure there there could be a Fangraphs article on uh, exploring. What's happening with Chris Archer? There's Zebra Dennis Santana, 99. Look at Sonny Gray. Out of 25, David Peralta. Sonny Gray looked awful in New York with the Yankees, right? But he goes to the Reds, and he looks pretty solid there. He's reunited with his Vanderbilt pitching coach. There's Randy Johnson, Diamondbacks edition. Javier Baez. Snakeskin. Looks like a Matt Harvey so bad with the Mets and then so bad with the Reds and the Angels. <laughs> He's just bad. Yeah, but he was so good. But Sonny Gray, they were they were just like the Yankees didn't have him use his fastball as much. Something weird like that. There's Jacob Nix for the Matt Harvey uh, had that one year where Andres. he was the best pitcher in baseball. He almost won the Cy Young, didn't he? Yeah. Like he was gonna be like the next like best pitcher. I think I think the Mets are I think Mets are just cursed. Yeah, Degrom didn't he win Cy Young last year? He did. He won MVP too. Oh no, Yelich did. Yelich did. There's Diaz. There's Lincecum. Yelich is gonna win back to back. He could. I guess Bellinger. I think Yelich still leads it. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I mean tonight Archer is doing pretty well. He's he's limited the Cubs to two runs, and they're they they're just going into the bottom of the fourth inning. But yeah, maybe no run support could easily, you know, can easily make a pitcher press. You know, maybe Archer's thinking I gotta go out there and throw shutout innings all the time because I know I'm not getting run support. So then that can make him force pitches. Uh, that's Nick Jaspi's hands. Those are different hands. I don't have four hands. There's Cal Rivkin. Out of 199, Caleb Ferguson. What's up, guys? Hey. Adam Jones. Carlos Correa. So he's helping open up some of the heavier base packs. I'll tell you what, these are opening very smoothly. The optic packs are smooth? These prison packs are pretty smooth, the too, aren't they? The Panini packs. The Panini's got it down. They, they're really good lately. Yeah, some of their their products lately, they've been using the right pack right material, glue. pack material guy using yeah. the right formula of glue. They're like, we gotta take these breakers into into consideration. Yeah. yeah. Yohan Camargo. I feel like there's a lot of parallels here. It could be a parallel hot box. So all those parallels. There's Kyle Wright, one out of fifty. For the Braves, snakeskin parallel for Juan Escabi Benya. See, these are not numbered, but they're inserts, so they'll still ship, so do not worry. It's Daniel Ponce de Leon to 299, Cal Ripken to 99, and that was Prism Baseball. I lean on a wet pink wall if you smell pink, by the way, too. 
Then with this is Donner Space Ball. It's not just you. Wait, what is? I leaned on a wet paint wall, so. Oh, it's not okay. Like paint. So if you smell paint, that's me. Gotcha. Not, not like your inner nose, like. Yeah, just like saying I'm gonna have a stroke poison, or something. Yeah. yeah. There's Yurix and Profar. There's Yurix and Pro. I thought it was flipped over. I thought it was gonna be like an autograph. Is he still in the MLB? I think he might still be with the Rangers. He was the number one prospect for like three years. Was he really? Yeah, two years. There's Jose Ramirez. He was supposed to be like, I mean, to 349. Him and Byron Buxton after that. I guess Buxton's still pretty good. Buxton's still pretty solid. Right, so Jay's saying for Chris Archer, his first few starts when you get a loss after throwing six things around him. Yeah, he feels like it's a no hitter or a loss, right? He's, It's a lot of pressure. If you feel like you have to go out there and just throw zeros the entire time. There's Fran Mill Reyes. What a season for him. Did you see that coming? Fran Mill Reyes hitting like 25 home he runs by the All-Star. I forgot what fancy sleepers I sent you, but he might have been one. Oh, he might have been one of them? Oh, I should look that up. There's Will Wilson. Will Wilson. I know William Das Studio was a studio. There's Max Muncy. That's to 150. What's everyone's surprises for the season? Fran Mill Reyes has got to be one of the big surprises for me. Tommy Listella. Tommy Listella is a big surprise. Freddie Freeman materials uh, for Juan and the Braves. The Twins in general. Twins in general, absolutely. The Red Sox not being good. Yeah, I thought there was going to be – Chris Sale had a weird start to the season. I thought there was going to be a uh, little bit of a World Series hangover, but not this bad yeah, yeah. For, the, for the Red Sox. Yeah. Oh, nice. Pirates are up. Oh, I see it. Melky Cabrera with a home run too. Melky? Melky Cabrera. Yes, that Melky. Wow. I didn't know he was still a thing either. Starring Marte doubles. Josh Bell doubles to score Marte and then Cabrera home run, homers. 3-2 Pirates. And I'm on the Pirates today. Pirates have been streaky, too, this season, Jay. Right? Steroids made him so much money, too. I feel like there's Clint Frazier. Yankees. That's another one for Joe Fisher. I feel like the Pirates will rattle off, like, six, seven wins in a row. And then they'll lose, like, six, seven games in a row. And they look like they can't hit anything. So, you just, just got to follow the Pirates streak. Very streaky. There's Chris Archer right there. He's got good stuff. See, he just hasn't quite put it together all together yet. There's a rated prospect jersey, Leody Tavares for the Rangers. That's going to be for Levi Johnson. You see any of the uh, any of the Tyler Skaggs press conference, post game press yeah, that was conference? Sad. That was <laughs> so Trout. sad. Like you look at like Mike Trout crying, yeah. and then like Justin Upton trying to make jokes, but then he starts to cry, yeah. and I was just, and then like uh, was it Andrew Heaney? I think is one of his best buddies uh, on the he team. There, He's yeah. just he was just started crying from the get go, man. Edwin, there's been lot. There's lots of Reds cards that are being sent to you, Jacob. Yeah. There's a lot of inserts, just not no hits yet. We'll Angels find some. Just been, still have a lot of boxes to go. Yeah, Luis Valbuena, he passed away last right. year. Obviously, Nick Aiden Hart. I I want to say that I read something where like where uh, behind after Aiden Hart was killed by that drunk driver. That the next pitcher drafted was yeah, Tyler Skaggs. Yeah. yeah, there's Kevin Kramer, the speedy Kevin Kramer for the Pirates. I don't like reading things like that. Joe Elran Word. I know. I don't. I don't like that. I know. I don't like that either. But I was like, oh, <laughs> it's just they're like. Because it's like, what was he? Dusty? Was he it cursed? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, why are you so that, yeah, that? why are you saying it like that? Sports Card Nation, what's going on? How are you?
So these are all like inserts here and rookie cards and stuff. So most of the stuff you see here, like that Machado, Dodgers edition will shit. All right, so let's get into, this is Donner's Optic Baseball. So we did Donner's Baseball, here is Optic, Donner's Optic. From, this is 2016, by the way. What breaks are we gonna have tonight? Everything. Everything you see on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think I think those Gold Rush jerseys sold out. Actually, the only thing we can't do is our Jaspies Fanatics break. That drops on Friday, jazbeescasebreaks.com. But everything else is game. I think the Gold Rush jersey sold out. So we'll be doing that right after this. And then I see about a dozen orders coming in here, so so whatever we whatever we want after that. What do we want to do after that? For the Padres, Travis Jankowski rated rookie autograph. That'll be for Chris Miller and the Friars. Sure, I can call you Nathan. If you want me to call you Nathan, you should have your name as Nathan instead of Sports Card Nation 35. That makes it easier for me. A lot of names I have to remember. And Stephen Piscotti, 7 out of 75. Cardinals edition, rated rookie auto for David Duffy and the Redbirds. Yes, I would. We got to do that museum. We're about to see some museum right now, Jay. So that might spark some uh, some motivation, and some people will be like, "Oh yeah, museum collection is good." Seventy-eight on ninety-nine, Aaron Nola. Right, Nate, Nate is Nathan, right. That That's our Nathan. Nate G, 16, 17. That's easy. I'll always remember Nate. All right. We got that. And Paul Blackburn for the A's. Rolando Lewis with the A's. Rookie auto for the A's. So this is 2018 finest. That's so nuts. Miguel Andujar, 250. Was that Jeff McNeil standing in front of? Alonzo. Oh, that's Alonzo. Pete Alonzo will make up for it. I was listening to a podcast today. The ball apparently not juiced. It's just better aerodynamics. And the stitching is lower on the... There's a, there's a professor, there's a doctor of astrophysics and whatnot that I, that I was listening to today on the Baseball Tonight podcast. And she was saying that, that the manufacturers have just gotten it right. Yeah. They, the ball is almost perfectly spherical. The leather is a little smoother, and it's just so less spin rate. And the stitching is lower, so there's less drag. 27 out of 50, Jake Lamb. Um, her articles are on The Athletic, behind a paywall. Joe Elrand Wirt, Diamondbacks. Do we have another case of jerseys? Red Hunter is asking. No. no. That's Rookie Otani, by the way. We'll save that. Jerseys. We have the we have our fanatics jerseys on the bottom of jazbeescasebreaks.com. That breaks on uh, breaks on Friday. All right, this one is 2019 finest. There it is, 2019. Exactly, Gavin. That that's exactly what's going on. Stitching is lower, ball flies farther, and then plus everyone just has more information. On pitcher tendencies, hitting tendencies. So all that combined. Have you heard of this guy? Wow, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty nice. Mike Trout autograph out of 2019 finest baseball. Who got randomized? The Angels. Levi Johnson with the Angels.
here we are just jibber jabbering about about smooth baseballs. And there's Mike Trout. It doesn't matter what kind of baseball is being thrown at Mike Trout. There you go, man. Nice hit. There's Jake Bowers, Rays addition to 150. That goes to Danilo with the Tampa Bay Rays. Ryan O'Hearn to 250. Logan, what's going on? Now here's the Bowman Chrome 2018. That was not originally on the list, but it was in the pictures. So There's Yairo Solis. For the Astros. And then we've got, what is this? Nice, Elio Ramos. For the Giants, Under Armour All-America Baseball autograph. He's one of the, one of the Giants, San Francisco Giants' big prospects. I think maybe, a, maybe last year's trading deadline, everyone was trying to, was asking for Elio Ramos in, in deals. Giants said no. That goes to Jeremy Anderson, who got the Giants in a team random. Little Oppo Joe Mojo as well. And there's Matthias Dietz. Bowman Chrome autograph for TJ. There you go, TJ on the other side of that trade. Alex Gordon to 150. This jersey stuff has piqued your interest. Which jersey stuff? The Jaspies Fanatics jersey? And there's Brett Cumberland for Juan and the Bravos. The Jaspies Fanatics break, Gavin. That's a that's a uh, a break curated by us, exclusively for you. So since there's only 64 boxes in that break, there is no checklist. So it's just like Leaf, you know, and other stuff like that that don't have a checklist but have a, a sell sheet. But if you look in the item description, you'll get an idea of what you can what you can get. And there's a hit list promo as well. Win an Austin Matthews autographed jersey. All right, let's get into some Inception, then Museum Collection over there, then Five Star, then we'll close out with that autographed baseball. Big thanks, to Nick, for uh, popping open those extra boxes for us. Made the break go a lot more quickly. So then we can jump into the Gold Rush jerseys, which are coming up next. And then we can go through orders again and see whatever else we can do tonight. Still early in the day, folks. So we still have plenty of time to fill and break a ton of breaks. So let's do it. All right, behind Lucas Sims is J.P. Crawford, 76 out of 99. Rookie auto for the Phillies, Chris Parent. Uh, Mark's asking for, we have plan on any more, getting any more Chronicles. We got a maybe. Maybe Friday. That's not a no.
All right, so this is 2019 Inception Baseball. Where's the hit here? There it is. There's uh, Chris Shaw. On the email, what was your email question? I don't check the email here. <laughs> Get paid too much to check emails, Gavin. What was the what was the question? There's Nick Birdie for the Pirates. Fifty out of ninety nine autograph for Joe L. Ranwert. Oh 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 the email on your account. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to do that manually. So just email me with the email. I don't know why there isn't a spot. Because I looked, I looked too. If anyone knows how to change your email address in your account without us having to do it manually, let, uh, let Gavin know. Otherwise, Gavin, just shoot, shoot us another email again and we can do that manually. I thought that was kind of odd. I think worst case scenario, uh, that's correct, Gavin. Jaspies case breaks at gmail dot, dot com. Yeah. Um, worst case scenario. What's up, Grego? Yeah, we're doing well. We're doing good. Uh, worst case scenario, just create a new account with your new email address. If whatever we're, we're unable to do, we should be able to do it. Though. Oh, come on, Chris Archer. What's the score in that game? Oh, tied at three. Dennis Moore getting plenty of immaculate baseball this year. Yeah, usually we get a ton of immaculate baseball every year. That is certainly something we'll get as much of as possible. Freddie Freeman. All right, here we go. Behind Pedro Martinez in 2018 Museum Collection is Tom Glavin, 126 out of 299. And remember, we have museum collection in the store, 2019 museum collection in the store right now. It's sold out technically. We just got to work on those team randoms. So help us out there and we can pop open a full case of that 2019 museum collection baseball. All of that is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Braves, Juan Pena with that one. It's a reproduction. And the relic is for the Mets. Stephen Matz for the Mets. 23 out of 25. Three color patch game use memorabilia for Rick K and the Metropolitans. Behind Reese Hoskins is dual relic and autograph Adam Duvall. To 299. Dual relic and autograph. And that's for the Reds. Chris Freeze with that. And behind Victor Robles is the quad relic. It's for the Red Sox. Laser Show. Dustin Pedroia. 12 out of 99. Paul Hutchins with the Red Sox.
All right, now let's get into 2019 Museum Collection Baseball. Trey needs some White Sox. Yep, yeah, we got we got your uh, got your red. Could be some more too. There's still that autograph baseball in the back. You get a nice hit out of that five star. That can make up for the entire break, boys and girls. So, so still hope. But a lot of these uh, higher end products left. So this is 2019 museum collection. Like I said, we've got we've got uh, a full case break of this in the store right now. So let's do it. Um, oh, you already did, Mark? I don't, actually. But next time we do a break that contains Kid Reporter cards, I'll save some more. All right, for the Braves, there's Ronald Acuna Jr. to 150. And for the Mets, we got Jacob deGrom. Nice archival autograph, 42 out of 50. No worries. Well, I'm glad you're at least having fun with it, Mark Masson. That's the whole idea. I need, need you to get the win, too. Meaningful material. Marcus Stroman, Justin Smoke. 28 out of 50. Dual relic for the Blue Jays. Andy Owens on the board with the Blue Birds. And we've got Pedro Martinez. Game used quad relic. Another one for the Red Sox. Paul Hutchins. And that is 8 out of 10. I was looking for the number there. Nice low number. And behind Matt Carpenter is Triple Relic and Autograph, Franklin Barreto, 56 out of 199 for the A's. Rolando Lewis with the A's. Zion in an immaculate break. I don't know, at least a few hundred. And if he plays well, four, five hundred, six hundred. If he's future rookie of the year... 800, <laughs> probably pretty close to uh, to Luka Doncic prices, if not more. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Two hits in here, and then the autograph baseball. Oh. Hmm. Redemption, feels like. Yes, there's a redemption on the bottom. So behind the redemption is Aaron Nola. Nice. One of the nicest autographs in the hobby, Aaron Nola. Uh, Chris Parent with the Phillies. The redemption is going to be, bam, Barry Larkin. Five-star autograph jumbo patch gold parallel Barry Larkin for Chris Freeze. And the Reds, man, he was he was trying to get rid of the Reds. Didn't want the Reds. Instead gets Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. Gold is must be numbered to like 10 or something like that. They were up for grabs too. He was dogging on the on the Reds the entire break. Out of Suns when baseball when basketball came out last year with the Suns most. 
it, early in the season, I think uh, the Suns were a little more expensive because of the first overall, DeAndre Ayton. Suns were still pretty expensive throughout the year, overall. But obviously, Luka, Luka Doncic just kind of outpaced, you know, DeAndre Ayton. But the Suns were probably still a top three most expensive team. Probably behind the Hawks and the, uh, yeah, Hawks and the Mavs. They were probably the third or fourth most expensive. All right, a quick round of Who Am I? America's favorite game where I give you the clues and you try to guess who I am based on those clues. I'm stunned if someone gets this. <laughs> All right, who am I? I'm still, well, that's right. I autographed this baseball, so of course I'm still alive. Um, I'm 85 years old. An outfielder born in New York City, New York, a right-hander. I've got a lifetime 266 batting average, 374 home runs, and a little over 1,100 RBIs. I was a nine-time All-Star, an AL home run leader, an AL RBI leader, in a different year when I led the league in home runs. Um, and I'm, I'm one of the few that have hit four home runs in one game. And this will go to the team I played for the longest, by the way, according to, according to baseball reference. Who am I? <laughs> I'll have to give you more clues. Um, he played for this team the longest, and he's part of this team's Hall of Fame too, so that makes sense. Uh, let's see. I played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams my entire career between 1955 and 1968. Uh, best known for uh, playing for this team in the right field. In 1959, I hit four consecutive home runs in one game. In 1965, I became the first AL outfielder to play a complete season with a perfect 1.000 fielding percentage. I've got a movie named after me, too. I'm a nine-time All-Star as well. I'm the fifth player in the history of the AL to have 11 consecutive 20 home run seasons between 1956 and 66. I, I remember watching this guy play. I don't know about you guys. During that span, he exceeded 40 home runs three times and 100 runs batted in six times. Led the AL in home runs, RBI, and slugging average once each. I'm ranked third amongst AL right-handed hitters for home runs and eighth for AL games played at right field in 1972. At the end of my MLB career, 1968, I currently live in Berks County, Pennsylvania. No, no one's going to get this. I'm getting Robinson, Bench, Reggie Jackson, Joe Jackson, Maris, Rose, Frank Robinson, Tebow. None of these guys. I was hired by the Cleveland Indians as a broadcaster on WJW-TV for the 1972 season. First base coach for the Indians during the 73 season. Broadcasting, broadcast during the 75 season. Hitting coach and broadcaster during the 76 season. First base coach during the 1977 to 78 seasons. Hitting coach for the Royals in 82 and 83. Um, oh, look at this. In 1982, myself and Royals manager Dick Hauser were involved in a traffic accident and struggled with police. And then we were convicted of uh, interfering with police and received 90-day jail sentences. We both appealed and served six months of probation. I was involved in the top Pine Tar game and was ejected for arguing umpire's decision to negate Brett, George Brett's home run and call him out, which would have given the Yankees the win. The decision was later overturned. The game was resumed a month later with the Royals in the lead as a result of Brett's home run. The Royals won the game. Uh, Obi-Wan got it. It is Rocky Colavito. I had to read his whole Wikipedia. There's Beckett's certificate. There's the Rocks autograph right there. The old legend Rocky Colavito. There's the Beckett sticker right there. And he played for the Indians the longest. Cleveland Indians the longest. That goes to Danny Connell. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.